So first thing to do here is probably set some kind of a validation point that we actually are at qtpsoil.net and not some random site like yahoo.com, right? Or I don't know, whatever other site there is, because you need a validation point. It's very important, guys. I notice a lot of individuals may forget about that part, but you can't just write code and not validate it. You need a validation point. So let's get that validation point. And what am I going to do with my validation point? I probably want to check that this logo is there, right? QTPSoil.net. Hopefully nobody else has this logo on our site. And if they do, I want to say thank you for that. It'd be very kind of you. So let's see. Push control space. Let's see what functions I got. Maybe I have something like a uh, get image. Here's our gets, mm -mm. get button, get image, check it out. How easy is this guys? You don't even need to know anything about the functions. Okay, let's push space. What does this need? It needs properties, okay. So here you may need to know a little bit about the definition of the function, but since I developed it, I know what properties it needs. So let me grab our handy Mr. Object Spy and let me spy on this image. All right, do I want the file name? or HTML tag or name. Let me grab the file name. Let me close this. No spaces. And let me comment that. And while I'm here, let's run from here. And let's see if it works. Guys, it's called unit testing. Oh, of course, results path was not found. Let's skip that. Okay, one second. Okay, I need to declare and let me go to the definition. All right, let me grab this function. Bring it down here. And my aim right now is to test that this works. And there's this step here that does some stuff and it uses a this results path, which I don't have configured yet because this is a fresh test. But my goal is to get everything done as fast as possible. So you can see I have a debug mode here. 